I... <laughs> Right, genuinely, if there are any Sony A6000 owners in the comments of this video, please tell me what I'm doing wrong. Like, I had the camera set to manual aperture, the shutter speed was respectable, I checked it, like it was staying at that shutter speed, right? I had a monitor that was showing me the camera output, and it looked fine. I get it out, I put it in Premiere, it looks like that mess. I don't know what it was. I, like, is there like an encoding thing that happens? Gen like, please. If you know, tell me, because I, I can't deal with that A6000 anymore, honestly. <sighs> Welcome back to all of us projects. <sighs> so, let's get you caught back up. First on the list, Torkler. Yep, that's right, that video you saw in between OP50 and 59 was in fact real. Torkler iOS V2, Torkler iOS V2, Torkler V2 is coming for both Android and iOS. Um, it's gonna be completely rebuilt from the ground up in React Native. You can't really see it, but it is there, I promise you. Um, I'll put it on the screen. Kick the tripod. I'm so excited about TalkLab that I kick the tripod in, just pure excitement. Um, but we're rebuilding the whole thing from scratch in React Native. Android Studio was great for performance on Android, just not practical for A, converting it to iOS, because I would have to rebuild the whole thing in Swift if I was going native both ways, or I'd have to build one side in React Native, and by that point, like, the amount of things I need to do to talk about Android, I might as well just do both. So, that's going to be happening. I said 2022, it's probably going to be 2023 because I'm quite busy at the moment, but hey, we'll see where we are, and I will keep you posted on that as weeks go by. Next up, let's talk about my commercial software work, because that's pretty much what I've been doing while I've been gone. Um, for the past three months, I've just been particularly working hard on both the software projects I'm currently working on and rebuilding my workflow basically from scratch. Um, I've completely rebuilt the way that we handle errors within our work, rebuilding the way that we track um, work done, rebuilding the way that we handle payment and all those kind of things. Basically, I've just been rebuilding my business from the ground up because I realized the way I was doing it right now was super not sustainable, um, which is always a good place to be. Um, but we've been working hard on rebuilding things and I'm slowly getting happy with where we're at. The only thing I need to do is actually build the website I said I was going to about three months ago. Oops. Um, but yeah, as far as production workflows go, I'm almost happy with where we're at. I just need to make a couple of changes to tracking of things and tracking where we're at and communicating. But outside of that, I'm really happy with where we're going and I'm hoping that I will begin a new cycle of looking for work in a couple months. So I will be available for software works if any of y'all are interested. Or if you have anyone who is interested, um, feel free to send them over to either my website at alvinnickel.co.uk if they want to see more of my personal works, or you can send them to this series. I mean, this series has been shown by apparently some of my clients watch the series, so hi. Um, but apparently this represents me being good at what I do, question mark? We'll see where we stand on that one. Next up is my pride and joy and primary source of stress at the moment, Nickel Smart Home. Um, the Smart Home consultancy business that I was mentioning a lot in the last few episodes of all of the projects, I'm finally getting to a point where we're close to starting up. And by close, I mean February. Feb, 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 feb February. February. Yes, that's later than originally intended. I originally intended to start it running in summer of this year and it's now to start from February or potentially later of next year, but I've done a lot more prep work than I initially expected to. I initially expected just to make a list of devices, put up a website, start talking to people and do it that way. No. I am writing comprehensive documentation for every device that we will offer in installations. I am writing pre-prepared installations. I'm writing a bunch of stuff I'm completely rebuilding I'm building a whole new workflow for this to make it as efficient as possible I'm doing the whole hog it's been chaotic but I absolutely love where we're going with it I think that this is going to be big I'm really excited to see where this goes it could flop massively that's a possibility but at the same time I'm happy to see where this goes so yeah, I will keep you posted on that. I will keep you posted with how we're getting on with writing these documents and building the websites and all the social presence and all that kind of stuff. Even for people who aren't going to be consulting, because the consul consultations and commissions are fairly local. I'm happy to build systems 
for people in the wider country, um, or wider just English-speaking world. Um, I don't speak any other languages, sorry. Um, I don't know how much I would help I would be in terms of sending devices at that point. I don't really have any logistics sorted out, but I can create the software for you. I can do homeless assistant installations if you're, you know, going to pay me. Um, but also for the people who don't even do that, this documentation will be available for everyone. It's going to be fairly comprehensive on a lot of things, both in terms of the basic plain English versions for people who just want to like fix a light. Like if you add a light, you don't want to read tons of stuff about how that light works. You just want to see a thing where it goes, right, type this, click these buttons, it works. That's the goal with Nickel Smart Home. However, I'm also aware that I'm going to be targeting some tech heads as well. So there's going to be the full advanced documentation in there about how this system works and how we set it up and things like that. So I'm hoping this is going to be a really good use resource in general. You can tell I'm passionate about it because that's the one I talk for the most about. Uh, we'll see where this goes. One thing I just want to touch quickly on and then probably drop the subject, but we'll see how things go, is how I'm doing. Um, I'm aware OP Week 58 kind of a downer because I ended it on a rather sour note because the main alongside I am having a lot of commercial work to do one of the main reasons I was stopping the project was up here um I'm sorry to say that hasn't really changed in terms of what I'm like up here um I had a good few months while I was away um I made some things got some work done felt quite good but we're nearing winter now and I tend to not have the best winters so this could be challenging. Um, I don't expect it to come up, I don't expect to mention it very much, but if you get the odd missed episode or a nice episode that's dodgy, like say for instance OP Week 30. Most people didn't understand that episode, but think about it in the context of I have notable mental health issues, all of a sudden it makes a lot more sense. Um, but seriously though, it's winter, I ain't feeling great, but I'm gonna keep doing this and I'm really enjoying what I'm doing so far, so Hope that continues. Please. Pl and last but not least, um, editing. You'll notice this series, we're going for a very different vibe, or this season, rather. Season, series. This is a series. This is the second season of the series. Yeah. Um, this season, we're going for a much more different vibe compared to what I did last time. Last time, it was I was trying to make a professional and talk about my projects. Not so this time. This time, we're going for extra... Not so this time. This time we're going for experimental as anything. Um, it's not going to be serious, it's going to be messy, it's going to be rough around the edges, shall we say. But that's because I'm experimenting with editing these things. I want to get better at concise editing, at more complex editing, about adding a bunch of stuff, making big compositions. Um, doing After Effects, which I just did for the new intro, which isn't remotely perfect yet, but you'll see it's changed from last episode to this one because I've worked on it. Um, as far as just making changes, you're just going to see stuff. Something's going to happen in the weeks. It's going to be interesting, I hope. Um, I don't have anything planned. So let's see how that goes. Yeah. Um, but apart from that, I think we're done here. El Tokla, Nickel Software, Nickel Smart Home, me, videos, fun. Season two, baby. It's gonna be a mess. And we are rolling. Okay. Let's try this again, shall we? Wow. Come on. Test track. Oh. Oh god, that is mortifying. Anyway. Let's try shooting this video again. Shall we? Because a certain I even preempted it. I preempted it while recording. Like, play that clip. And then the footage looked like this. So, I ask thee, why do I even bother? Why do I bother with the fancy A6000 designed to be a video camera with suitable low light performance when I can just use this thing, the electric toothbrush? which is designed to be for, you know, vloggers.